previously on Broken Window Theory. After many exhausting days of exploring, we had nearly reached the end of our great Italy road trip. The morning of our last outdoor overnight stay, we woke up on the compound of a defunct military base of the NATO, hidden somewhere in the mountains. Definitely one of the most badass spots to spend the night. Later that day, we reached an old asylum located in the forgotten wing of a big palace. While we were revealing its history, we came across the gallery of a famous street artist. But before we head home now, we want to end our big adventure with a bang. Italy has treated us very well those last 10 days. Literally every day we had stunning views. And we're not even talking about those impressive abandonments, but about all the historical cities and the beautiful landscapes. Nearly everywhere we were able to spot derelict ruins by the roadside, which led to many spontaneous stops on almost every day. If we had to deal with annoying dense undergrowth, the great Italian food on the evening would make us quickly forget all the effort. For the whole adventure almost nothing went wrong, which was amazing. But ironically, on the last day, our lucky streak should end. It's another hot day somewhere in the north of Italy when we have spotted this unique abandoned place from the highway. Our local guy Toby Urbex had already said goodbye the night before. Now only the proper people and we are left. And nobody of us has any information about this site. But the property is obviously abandoned. And there are planes. Two good reasons to jump out of the car and start another exploration. We are excited because we haven't seen any abandoned planes from the inside before. Today, this will change. The access to the aircrafts nearly seems too easy. And the condition is really good and there's no graffiti at all. So, what's the catch? <sighs> Damn. And so we had to end our last exploration early. We said farewell to the proper people, drove back home to Germany and lived happily ever after. Thanks for watching our final Italy episode. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel and <laughs> just kidding. Such an alarm can scare us off. After one or two minutes the siren became silent and we decided to stay and explore the remaining parts of the premises. So let's get back to the adventure. Maybe you already guessed it, this for many years neglected property is a restaurant with a difference. This, let's call it, small airport is just a few minutes drive away from the next bigger town. Here, next to a highway with heavy traffic, the dream of a visionary entrepreneur became reality. An Italian brewmaster is considered the creator of this fancy establishment. Beforehand, he was working as manager of retirement homes for 10 years. Often he was watching passing aircrafts in the sky, together with the seniors. While doing this, the elderly people told him they would have wished to be in such a plane in one point in their life. As a result, the master brewer was dedicating this restaurant to all the people who haven't been able to see a plane from the inside. In order to do that, he connected two decommissioned airplanes with some kind of tower, which was the kitchen. In addition to that, you can find pieces of art in nearly every corner under the wings. Many frescoes and sculptures are based on the works of famous Renaissance masters. But all of these are just cheap replicas, of course. 
However, it's an unusual ambition for a complex consisting of brewery, restaurant, club, bar and pool. Going to make a shake? Yeah, that would be awesome. Alright, that's enough though. I don't trust those things. Look at this. It's really tempting to see those aircrafts from the inside. But we don't want to set off the alarm again, so we're looking for alternative ways in. But apparently, there's no other open access points than the tower. So let's just try to outsmart the motion sensor. We already know that this small thing right here is the trigger. Should we try to duck under it? Yeah, sure. As long as we're directly under it, we should be safe. At least we think so. Yeah, I don't see anything else that could be... So I tried the right hallway. Maybe you just go straight. Shall we just get some shots and then yeah, get out? Yeah, let's get some shots of this plane and then move on. Ooh, it's hot in here. It's actually pretty cool. Finally, we made it inside an abandoned plane. Next to the sounds of passing cars on the highway, we mainly hear pigeons from in here. As it seems, they're the last residents of this place. Do you hear the pigeons? Yeah. It's definitely fucking hell. How many degrees are it? The outside temperature is almost 30 degrees Celsius, but in here, it feels like being inside a sauna. The kitchen, however, is surprisingly small. But when you take a look on the card, you know why. Not that big of a menu, but I guess you come here for the experience, not just the food. Anyway, our big highlight is for sure the amazing cockpit. If we're right, this airplane is a Douglas DC-6. It's still completely authentic. And despite it being partly stripped, the bulk of the displays and devices are still there. Today, a childhood dream is coming true. You want to join me in my cockpit? Sure. Actually, look at the spider webs over there. All right. <laughs> Even when it's just a few minutes, it's great to imagine being a pilot in such a cool aircraft. And then there's also this helicopter. We didn't dare to climb up there. But luckily our friend Toby has paid a visit to this place only a few months after us. He even took a picture from the inside of this craft. For more of his images, follow the link in the video description to his Instagram account. This place is holding many surprises for us. There are plenty of buildings on the compound we haven't entered yet. But unfortunately, it turns out that most of them are locked tight. But with this one, we have more luck. It's 
the biggest structure on the property, and of course we need to know what's hidden inside. But we didn't expect that. This is the former bar, and apparently it should remind of a lord's house. Everywhere there are pictures with Christian symbols. But of course, they're all cheap replicas again. The whole place looks really clean, and the condition of the building is mostly terrific. That's actually the best preserved abandonment we came across on our whole Italy journey. But also here, people have already looted. Obviously, we aren't the first daredevil seeing this place after its closure. At the main entrance, we're discovering another one of those alarms. But this one is only triggered when opening the door. In the year 2000, the place was opened. But only a few years later, the site had to be closed again. Apparently, building permissions were violated. And so, directly after the opening, a penalty of 280,000 euros was imposed. A lawsuit was following, which was dragging on for 14 years until the restaurateur lost and had to end his dream. But as it seems, this place was loved by visitors. On TripAdvisor, huge pizzas, a fantastic atmosphere and fair prices were recommended regularly. The last review, however, is from 2016. This fits to the files we have found, which were also dated to this year. Is this like somebody's resume to work here? I think so. 2016. Yeah, wow. Now there is only one more thing we would like to see before we end our urbex adventure in Italy. We definitely want to get in the second aircraft. But for that we have to get past the alarm again. You remember, we failed here earlier. Now we're trying to be especially careful. Okay, let's hurry up now. This plane is the Tupolev Tu-134. These crafts were produced in the former Soviet Union and still today they are in use by several countries. Also for military purposes. But this one hasn't been flying for decades anymore. Exactly like the one next door. These are dead remains of a once lovely dream. A bright mind wanted to show people something which they haven't seen before in their entire life. They should be able to feel like passengers of a real airplane. And he wanted to make inspiring art of the greatest masters of all times accessible to the populace as well. He was fighting very long to live his dream. But in the end, it was bureaucracy that crushed his ambitions. And all that remains of it now are those abandoned corps next to the highway. Oh yeah, and there was the thing with the police. After we had already packed up and left the property, the military police called Carabinieri showed up when we were just taking our final area shots. We don't know if they were called because of the alarm, or if it was just a regular patrol, which wanted to check those foreign cars in the middle of nowhere. However, we gave them our papers, and after they kept us waiting for quite some time, we got them back. The actual problem occurred now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, they really have your thing? Because our documents what, what were incomplete. Mean? What do you mean? Oh, fuck. What do they have? I don't know. The car registration. Get in the car and... I don't know. Chase them down? Yeah, chase them down. They just drove away with Till's car registration. They took all of our documents. We're looking at them for like half an hour. What the and then they drive away with Till's documents for their car. And they're long gone now. We have no idea what to do. Is it that important though? Because in the US, registration, you can just get another copy. You can, but if you so go easily. down the road, 
you know, Without that way, the like, one exit, and then a police pull you over. They can't just look up your registration? No. I mean, they probably can, but I yeah, don't Yeah, I are. think it's fine. I don't think it's that big of a deal. No, I think it is. Oh, are th is there a car coming back? Yeah, but it's not. It's not them. So we're just chilling here, hoping by some miracle the carabinieri will come back with Till's documents, but it seems like they're all a lot busier with something on the highway now. The emergency vehicles can't even get through. They don't have the rescue lane. This is nuts. The road is completely closed. Try Maybe we can find the police that pulled us over a second ago with the accident. <laughs> they wish they were us right now on this side of the guardrail. Oh, oh there's a helicopter. Shit. On the road. What if we see the carabinieri that was just... Yeah. Jeez. Oh, that is like a pileup. Oh, everyone rear-ended everyone, I think. Holy shit. Oh, here's the ambulance. There's... I don't know if we're going to be allowed to drive through here. Oh, oh shit. There's, there's fuck. Everywhere. Oh, I saw a dead fucking person. I just saw a dead guy. That's them. Okay guys, let's end this here. You need to know I had such a bad feeling bothering the emergency team just to get my car documents back. But in the first place I didn't even realize that there were dead people on the roadway. Michael and Brian told us after. But when I saw those two guys, I kind of just completely freaked out and forget everything else. Um, yeah, but compared to this, our problem was just a joke. However, those two policemen recognized us. And directly after I've approached them, they gave me the missing documents back. This was a weird ending for our road trip, but with that last adventure, our Italy travels were over. Thanks so much Toby, Brian and Michael for this incredible time we had last July. If you don't know any of their work yet, feel free to check out the links in the video description down below. Uh, now I don't want to talk much more about our Italy road trip because we already gave you all the insights in our videos. What I rather want to talk about is what's coming next. Because the last 9 months we've been really productive and we explored a lot of incredible places and you haven't seen any of it. So here's a sneak peek, enjoy it and make sure to don't miss any of those upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching our Italy series till the end. Let us know in the comments which one of the 14 episodes you have enjoyed most. And with a like and a sub you can help us reach more people with our videos. Thanks a lot for being part of BWT. Until the next adventure and keep exploring.